it could be quite possible that the area and circumference question for a circle comes up on a non-calculator paper, in which case you won't be required to remember pi as a great long list of digits. You'll have to use some form of approximation. The first type of these is when the question asks you to leave your answer in terms of pi. So, the circumference, we know, is pi times d, or 2 pi r. So, because I've been given the radius, I'm going to use 2 pi r, 2 times pi times 6. So, 2 times pi times 6 is just 12 pi. 2 times 6 is 12, just leave the pi by itself. So it would be 12 pi metres. And that's what it means by leaving your answer in terms of pi. Your answer should still have pi in it. Okay, so it's very simple. It's just making sure you remember the formula. For the area, it was pi r squared. So that's pi times r squared. So 6 squared is 36. So that's 36 pi and because we're in area and metres, so metres squared. And that's what it means to leave your answers in terms of pi. So it's very straightforward, very simple to use. Um, so you could expect it on a non-calculator paper in this way. Um, on a calculator paper, they're much more likely to try and get you to use pi on your calculator, or an abbreviated form, like 3.14.